as humans, we have this culture of waiting for something to happen so that it, it might drive us to do something that is required of us. For example, you will wait to have an accident that will cost you a lot of money, that will cost you your savings, that it will make you beg from people for money for you to get that insurance. You will get for you will wait to get that opportunity to work outside the country or to to just fly out for you to get that passport. I'm back from my class and it was nothing but short of amazing. And then let me one or two up with Kyuzo and I'm like, yo, Nizimungun Amejua, because I really wanted a light. Assalamu alaikum friends, trust you well. Myself, I'm fine, alhamdulillah. And welcome to the vlog. So today, as you have seen, I'm planning on taking these curtains and this duvet there for my master bedroom. I'm taking them to the laundry because they're too heavy, I cannot do them myself. Yeah, so that's the plan. Is the like a laundry? Zero. any laundry services over where I live but I know as Kosa so I'm just going out as I run another errand as I check and again I suppose that they're very heavy but if they're too heavy I guess I'll take I'll take a motorbike to to the main road so guys I thought just came through my mind and I was like, we we as humans, we have this culture of waiting for something to happen so that it, it might drive us to do something that is required of us. For example, you will wait to have an accident that will cost you a lot of money, that will cost you your savings, that it will make you beg from people for money for you to get that insurance. You will get for, you will wait to get that opportunity to work outside the country or to to just fly out for you to get that passport you'll wait for you to get maybe a car or a job that requires you to know how to drive for you to go and get that driving license and know how to drive me included i've been a victim of that and i want that to stop this year so today i'm going to sign up for driving classes yeah i'm just wondering with my big big age more as you could drive why don't i know how to drive well sometimes you you may not have a car but maybe you are in a place as long as you know how to drive maybe there's an emergency with your neighbor maybe they're pregnant and they have a car and their person is not there to take them to the hospital you will be able to help utasaidia umpeleke and will have saved something so this this is a call for you and me to get like those courses that zimekwa po they are not just for the form four leavers they are not just for that person when you are university yeah i'm here to just encourage you and encourage myself to get that passport to get that driving license to get to get that knowledge on or that little course that small course that i know will help out in a big way or in a small or in a small way so do not wait to get to own a car for you to know how to drive 
do not waste that opportunity to fly out for for a vacation or for a job or just for fun for you to start na wewe ndio uanze kuhangaika ukitafuta that passport so yeah today i'm signing up for my driving license alhamdulillah for provision and let's see how it goes because guys i have a phobia ya barabara hey if there's something i fear i fear two things one i'll not say it on today's video i'll say it another day and the other one is driving but i saw nairofi had um also had fear before ajoy could drive and right now in her vlogs she drives so well so if nairofi can do it so can i so let us go out and sign up for that class and get this cleaned <laughs> yeah so Guys, guess who faced her fears just right now? <laughs> it's me! Yeah, you're right. So yeah, I've already registered for my lessons and I'm starting tomorrow. And the tutors are quite nice that they made me very comfortable to feel like, yeah, I can start this. So tomorrow will be the first day and I hope you'll start yours too and Allah will provide and make that way possible for you as he did for me. So see you tomorrow, inshallah. The next day. Assalamu alaikum. So I'm starting my driving classes today. Alhamdulillah. And I'm going to have my first practical today. So we have one hour for practical and one hour for theory classes. So there's some things I need to get kwa saiba and I haven't. So Uzuri, the school is just in my neighborhood. So let's go for classes. Later. Assalamu alaikum friends. So I'm back from my class and it was nothing but short of amazing. You guys had told you that I have phobia barabara but today was quite amazing. Alhamdulillah for ways just God shows himself to us. Because for me in this process he's showing himself to me via the drivers and the class teacher who's doing so I have one hour for theory class and then another hour for practical. And guys, they are so amazing. They're so patient with me. And luckily, I'm the only student in my hour. Most of, the, most of my classmates, most of the other students have taken like the morning classes and have taken the afternoon one. So najipata kwa class pekeangu. So the concentration... Like, Mwenyezi Mungu alijua niko na hiyo and he specifically made it that way so that they may fully concentrate on me. And I'm here for it. Yeah, so I'm back and I also passed via the laundry to pick my blanket and my, my curtains. And I'm not sure if I want to take them back because my room really looks spacious and big without the curtains i guess because of the shears you know the shears are clear they're white so like they make the room look bigger i'll just show you right now so i'm quite hungry it's around five and the only meal i had was in the morning and guys if there's something i take a lot 
off whenever i get a chance is fries and it's alarming <laughs> yeah so i've just bought some fries i don't know if johnny at night i'll just take fruits so yeah just to update you on how my class was which was amazing and it's reminding me to just thank god for each and every way he shows up for me because most of the time is when we ask for something and then when it's given to us we like complain on ways it has been done not our way instead of just appreciating how it has been delivered so yeah today i'm grateful for how the class went and i hope that in the next two weeks or one i'll be a good driver yeah so that's it for now i'll just show you the room how it's looking and then with time we'll know how i'll decide if i'll put up the curtains or i'll not so let's see yeah, this is what I was talking about, guys. As you can see, the shears only make my the space look bigger. So we'll see if we'll change the curtains to white. Then the ones that were here to go to the guest bedroom. Or we'll just figure out because there's a lot to be done in this room. So, yeah. You guys, my guilty pleasure is eating fries from this dish <laughs> and using this like i just it just gives me joy and any little thing that makes us happy we are in for it so i just get fries and then transfer them here and use this plastic nini so i'm enjoying my fries with my savannah juice another favorite that i should really get rid of because it's not healthy yeah so let me enjoy this and then catch up with you guys tomorrow inshallah trust mkopoa as i am the next day assalamu alaikum guys so today is day three of school yeah i'm just here to show you my simple fits <laughs> then leave the house so wish me luck later guys you see how sweaty i am <laughs> at this rate i should be carrying water to class because yo narudini kiwa nasikia kiu all my lips are dried up and all so yeah i just go back from class and today's class was a bit disappointing on the practical part the theory part is good but the practical part kidogo <laughs> yeah so done with today so it's actually around five um tonight i'm not cooking dinner i have some leftovers for dinner that's what i'll have and yeah there's nothing much if something comes up of course i'll put you guys on so for now adios the next day There's a package I'm supposed to pick and the line is busy so I guess I'll call him back later. So assalamu alaikum guys. So I've just got back from today's class and alhamdulillah today's class was compared to yesterday today's class was good alhamdulillah. Yeah that's something to be grateful for so guys i want to close this vlog here and before i do so don't mind here so this is bread and milk for breakfast for tomorrow breakfast and then i bought some fruits which i'll clean them in a few minutes so guys i wanted to plug you on yeah and i also carried water to class today like the last 
three days nimerudi nimekuwa nikirudi so quick to just come home and take water so if there's something i was looking for is this it's a rechargeable emergency light stima kipotea so stima zikipotea we always use the phone like ya simu and it's been quite a while i've been postponing nenda kamkunji i forget to buy it so i had just gone to withdraw some cash to run me for this week at least and then the million and two up we queue and i'm like yo mwenyezi mungu amejua because i really wanted a light yeah i think i was supposed to go to kamkunji kuitafuta but i've got a need in my home area yeah so it's a rechargeable light and it's quite it's quite cute it's quite cute yeah so i guess first i'll charge it before it to make it so it comes it was going for 1200 shillings yep and here it is its charger so i want to charge it now so that steam is keep on like any time soon you will be will be sorted yeah so yeah that's the plug so allow me to end this vlog here we'll continue we'll continue see you on the next vlog so thank you for being here i've been your girl eve hawa adios Mwah.